thank you for giving me the, the chance to talk today. So uh, my work is entitled a stochastic mass conserved reaction diffusion equation with nonlinear diffusion. This work is uh, a, a, a joint work with Kai Li, a PhD student in the University of Tokyo in Japan, and with my PhD advisor, Daniel Hillhorst, which is in the University of Paris Sud. So first to start, a particular or an example of the reaction diffusion equation is the mass conserved allen kahn equation. So we introduce the problem, partial derivative of phi over partial derivative of t equal to Laplacian phi, which is a linear diffusion, plus f phi, which is a reaction term, minus 1 over uh, the measure of d, integral of the f phi, which is the non-local term. Uh, uh, Neumann boundary conditions and an initial condition, which is phi zero. f, the reaction term here, has exactly three zeros minus 1, 0, and plus 1. f prime on plus and minus 1 is negative, and f prime in 0 is positive. A typical example of this reaction term is f phi equals to phi minus phi cube. This deterministic equation with linear diffusion and uh, uh, with uh, the deterministic one, the mass conserved Allen Kahn, is, uh, it was introduced by Rubinstein and Stenberg in 1992. And it is to model binary mixtures undergoing phase separation. Then now we introduce the stochastic mass conserved Allen Kahn equation. So it's the same equation with the linear diffusion, the reaction term, the non-local term, and we add the noise term, the stochastic term, which is the partial derivative of W over the partial derivative of T. Name and boundary conditions and phi zero, an initial condition. The uh, singular limit of uh, this equation was uh, studied in the article of Antonio Pulo, Bates, Blomker and Carali in 2016. And uh, this uh, problem was to model the motion of a droplet. However, they left the question of existence and uniqueness of the solution of the problem open. So, our goal is to study the non-local stochastic reaction diffusion equation with nonlinear diffusion. So I'd introduce the following problem. So it's the partial derivative of phi of a partial derivative of t, divergence equal to divergence of a of gradient phi, the nonlinear diffusion term, plus f phi, which is the reaction term and which is more general in the case that I studied, but here I will consider the one of Allen card for simplicity. And then the non-local term plus the stochastic term. Some special boundary conditions and an initial condition phi zero. D in my case, it's an open bounded set of Rn with sufficiently smooth uh, boundary. So my goal is to study the existence and uniqueness of the problem P, of the solution of the problem P. A is Lipschitz continuous from Rn to Rn, and A is coercive, so we'll put some coercivity condition. This, uh, this, uh, the divergence of A of gradient of U, this nonlinear diffusion term, was introduced in an article of Funaki and Spohn in 1997. We remark that if A equals to the identity matrix, then the divergence of A of gradient of U equals to Laplacian of U. Then, now, the function W, it's a cube uh, Brownian motion on L2. So W, it's equal to the infinite sum from k equals 1 to infinity of the square root of lambda k, beta k, e k. e k are the orthonormal basis on L2, diagonalizing q. Lambda k are the corresponding eigenvalues. And q is a non-negative definite symmetric operator on L2 with the trace uh, with a finite trace. The trace of q, uh, we suppose moreover that the trace of q, which is the infinite sum of the lambda k, are bounded by a constant big lambda zero, which is positive. And finally, the beta k is a sequence of independent Brownian motion on some, on some probabilistic play, uh, on some probabilistic domain. Then, now to start the proof of existence, 
we have to introduce a preliminary, uh, we have to, uh, to introduce an auxiliary problem. So we take the equation of uh, the heat equation, the stochastic heat equation, with nonlinear diffusion term. So I introduce namely the problem P1, which is partial derivative of Wa over partial derivative of T, equals to divergence of A of gradient of Wa plus the stochastic term some boundary conditions and initial condition equals to zero. This problem was the well-posedness of this problem, the existence and the uniqueness of the solution was studied in an article of Krylov and Drozovsky in 2007. So now we give the definition of this problem. Um, WA belongs to some sublevel spaces and WA satisfies the integral equation, which is WA equals to the integral from 0 to t of divergence of A of gradient of WA plus W of x and t. Then I define a change of function. I say that w, uh, u is equal to phi minus WA. Then u satisfies the problem P2 which is partial derivative of u over partial derivative of t, equal to the nonlinear diffusion term, which is divergence of a of gradient of u plus wa minus a gradient wa, the reaction term f of u plus wa minus the non-local term 1 over measure of the integral of d of u plus wa. And we remark here that the noise is hidden. Then we have the uh, special boundary condition and phi zero, the initial condition. We remark that this equation uh, is mass conserved. So namely, we have that the integral over d of u equals to the integral over d of phi zero, almost surely for almost every t belonging to r plus. Then we work uh, on some sub f spaces, which are particular to have the existence uh, of the solution. So we introduce H, which is a V belonging to L2 of D, the sub f space, such that the integral over D of V equals to zero. Then I introduce capital v, uh, big V equals to H1 intersection with H, and then Z equals to V intersection with L2P. Then I define again the solution now of problem P2. U belongs to some sub f space, and then U satisfy the integral equation U of x and t equals to phi zero plus integral from zero to t of the dif uh, nonlinear diffusion term plus integral over zero t of the reaction term minus the non-local term. Now I will prove the theorem, there exists a unique solution of the problem P2. For the proof, I will give some uh, ideas. We apply a Galerkin method. The Galerkin method is used to transform a continuous problem to a discrete problem, and then the solution of the Galerkin approximate problem can be uh, decomposed on a basis of functions. So I introduce gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma k, the eigenvalues of the operator minus Laplacian with homogeneous Neumann boundary conditions, and then wk, which are the uh, eigenfunctions on L2, uh, and uh, they are the, eigenfunctions, the eigenfunctions of the operator minus Laplacian. wk are smooth because we have that the boundary uh, of our domain is sufficiently smooth. Then now I prove the following lemma. The function wj are an orthonormal basis of L2 and the first eigenfunction uh, w0 is equal to a constant, namely 1 over the square root of the measure of d. To, uh, to prove that they are orthonormal uh, basis, this is very easy. So we see that the integral over d, uh, we want to prove that this is equal to zero, but these are the eigenfunction of minus Laplacian. So it's namely equal to one, um, minus one over gamma j integral over d of Laplacian wj. But we have Neumann boundary conditions. 
then this one will be equals to 0 for all j different than 0. And this is how we prove the lemma. Then now, as I said, the solution of the, the Galerkin problem. So we look for an approximate solution, um minus big M, which is equal to the sum from i equal 1 to m of uim wi. Capital M is equal to 1 over the measure of d, integral over d of phi 0, the initial, uh, the initial condition. This solution satisfies the following equation, integral over d of partial derivative of um minus capital M uh, over a partial derivative of t multiplied by wj minus integral over d here this is the nonlinear diffusion term which is integrated by part multiplied by the gradient of wj then we add the integral over d of f um plus wa multiplied by wg wj and then the uh, non-local term multiplied by wj we have also that um for t equals zero uh, converges strongly in l2 to phi zero the initial condition as m goes to infinity. Okay, uh, we remark that the contribution of the non-local term vanishes, and this is because uh, the integral over d of w j, as I said here, is equal to zero. So the the non-local term vanishes, and then u m minus m verifies a simple, uh, a more simple equation. Then. Uh, we proved that we have some a priori estimates, so there exists a positive constant which bound the solution in some Sobolev spaces. And then from this, from these a priori estimates, I can say that there exists a subsequence such that UM minus capital M converges weakly into some Sobolev space. And there exists chi and phi such that the reaction term converges weakly to chi in some Sobolev space and the nonlinear diffusion term converges weakly to phi in some Sobolev space. Then we pass to the limit as m goes to infinity from, the, uh, from uh, the equation of um minus capital M to the limit equation. So we get this equation here, but in the non-linear uh, diffusion term, we have the limit, which is phi minus divergence of A of gradient of W. And here we have the limit of the reaction term, which is chi. The last, uh, the last point of the proof is to see how uh, to identify the limit. So to have that phi plus chi equals to divergence of A of gradient of U plus WA plus F of U plus WA. And to do this, we have to use a monotonicity argument. This monotonicity argument was introduced by, uh, in an article by uh, Martin Marion in 1987 for deterministic problem and for, uh, for uh, stochastic problems in an article of Krylov and Rolozovsky in 2007. So to apply, the, to apply the monotonicity argument, first for the, for the nonlinear diffusion term, uh, we, ha we have to use uh, the, the condition of A, the condition of coercivity of A that I said in the first slide, to deduce that this term is monotone. Then for the reaction term, I will take the simplest one, which is Fu equals U minus U, U cube. We have to see that this one, the U cube, is a function which is monotone. And we have to get rid of this one, which is not monotone. So we do some change of function, which is <coughs> exponential to the power ct, u tilde, with uh, c equals 1 in particular, in this case of u minus u cube. And this is how we get that this one is monotone. And finally, for the non-local term, we have that 1 over the measure over d of f u multiplied by the integral of u, but we are working on some space, some sub -less space suggests the integral of d of the solution equals to zero, then this term also vanishes. So, last thing I wanted to do is the, to prove the uniqueness. To do this, I take two solutions, u1 minus u2. So those two <coughs> solutions verifies 
the equation u1 minus u2 equals to the, the nonlinear diffusion term of the first one minus the second, the reaction term of the first minus the second, the same for the non-local term. And then we take its duality product with u1 minus u2. We have the same initial conditions for u1 and u2. They are equal to phi zero. So the contribution of the non-local term is also equal to zero. And <coughs> then we take uh, the expectation of the equation. And by Gronwell lemma, we prove that u1 equals u2 for almost every omega x and t belonging to big omega cross t cross zero t. Thank you for your attention. Any other question? Merci. Um, uh, what is the parameter p, the power p uh, that appeared in? Uh, yeah, here. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, actually. I did not mention this because, okay, so uh, I said that Fu is equal to U minus U cube in the case of Allen Kahn. But in our case, well, what we did is that we extended this one to a more general polynomial. So we have that U is equal to the sum of some coefficient G from one to 2p minus 1. So it's a more, um, it's a more, uh, how to say, it's a more general polynomial such that p is bigger than 2. So we did not consider only the combination u minus u cube, but you can have more polynomial 2 uh, plus u 2p minus 1. Est-ce qu'il y a d'autres questions? So compared to the, the solution of the of the equation determinist, uh, the solution of uh, the equation uh, stoch stochastic, uh, the comportment of the two has some difference? Uh, I don't know. Um, I did not do numeric simulations. So I yeah. don't know the, the difference between the one in, in deterministic and the one in, uh, in, pr in uh, stochastic. But what can I say is that I have the existence of uni and uniqueness of the first of in deterministic, and I proved the one in, in uh, stochastic. But to compare the solution, uh, I don't know, uh, because I did not do any numeric uh, simulations. And I have a last question. Yeah. What kind of physical mechanism can give a nonlinear diffusion term? And for a linear diffusion term, it's just, OK, Boolean motion or? Random works, but what kind of mechanism? You mean uh, for the a for, for the a not yeah, to be the exactly. identity? Okay, so I can. Okay, I can tell you what kind of this uh, diffusion uh, physically can appear. So, if you take the the okay, I will explain here because there it's cool. So if you take the the, diff the normal diffusion, if we take I don't know the um, tumor or something uh, biological, and we want to see the diffusion in the Laplacian case, you can see that this one can go with the same uh, how to say can diffuse with the same uh, velocity. But in the case where we put this one, you can imagine that you can have different velocities. So. This one is um, here the gradient, so you can have that the component of x uh, goes with a velocity different than the one of uh, the y. So you can have another shape and not a circular okay. shape diffusion. So it's, I don't know, it's something like this and going with uh, really different velocities. Okay. Thank you.